Hi, welcome to Kativi 5 video tutorial. I called this exercise Turbo Snail. And I did it without any sketches. But of course, you can do it with 2D sketches as well. So, let's have fun with Kativi 5. Okay, let's start with the snail or spiral, which you will find here in that toolbar. So, support could be the X, Y plane. Center point, I want to use the origin, of course. Reference direction, the Y axis. The start radius should be 2, 3, 5 divided by 2. Sorry. And counterclockwise, yes. Angle and radius, yes. And the end angle should be minus 45 degrees. And the end radius should be 2, 3, 5. So let's put it like this. Plus 46 divided by 2. Yeah, that's more like it. Okay. Next I want to use a circular sweep. So go to sweep. Go for a circular one. And this should be one with a center and a radius. The center curve would be this curve here. And I want to go with, let's say, 25 as radius. And I want to use a law. And this should start maybe at 25 and go linear to, let's say, 10. Close that one. Let's see in which direction this one goes. It should be the other way around. So let's go back to the law and inverse the law. Close and preview. That's more like it and confirm. Great. Okay, now in order to split that surface I need two planes. So go for a plane parallel to the XY plane and distance might be six millimeter. And OK. And another one, a symmetrical one to the other side. So reverse the direction and confirm. Now I want to split that surface. So go for a split. Select that surface and use this plane as tool. And I want to keep both sides and confirm. Let's give this one a different color so it's easier to see. OK. Now I want to split this one. So go for another split. Select this one. Select that as tool. And I want to keep both sides. Which will lead me to a multi-result management. And I want to keep only one supplement using an extract. Because that stripe and this stripe. And I want to keep this stripe here. So confirm and select this stripe and confirm, which gives me three surfaces. Now I could, of course, join those three, this one, that one, and this one here, and confirm. So it seems I didn't select. I wanted to select split one, split four, and obviously I did miss this one here and confirm. Now I want to use another sweep, a line sweep, to close that. 
So go for another sweep. Go for a line. Go for two limits. And guide curve one would be this edge here. You could of course first extract it. If you want, create an extract. Select this one and confirm. And for the second one, you can use another extract if you want. This extract here and confirm. And the spine could be this one here. Length should be zero and zero. Let's see. Looks pretty good. So let's confirm. Now, in order to close that gap, I want to use a blend surface from this edge here to the other edge and maybe hide that surface for the moment like this. So it's easy to see what happens here. Okay, where's my blend? There's my blend. I want to go from this edge here and that surface as support to this edge here and that surface as support. And with the blend I can control the tangent, meaning the tangency here. So let's go for a preview, take a look. Looks quite nice. And I could control with the second one the tension here. So I could go up, which would like something like this, or I could go down to, let's say, 0 0.5. which looks something like that. Let's leave it like this and confirm. Now, let's add another plane because I want to split that blend here. So you need a plane at an angle. Rotation axis would be the set axis and as reference I could use for example let's see which plane I want to use this one here as reference and let's try a 45 degrees and see in which direction that's the wrong one so go to minus 45 and let's go for minus 43 degrees and confirm and then I want to split that surface so go for a split select the surface that would be the blend and split it with this plane here and I want to keep both sides and confirm let's bring back not this sweep but the join. Let's switch to a different view style. Okay. Now I want to use a multi-section surface to go from this profile here to that edge. And I want to use those edges as guides. First maybe hide that one here for the moment. Okay. So let's go for multi-section surface. Should be this one here. Yes. And I want to use that profile. And this profile here. Okay. Uh, that's the wrong direction like this, like that. Okay, that would be the correct direction. They should both point into the same direction. 
or is that no that's wrong it's like this so i want to use this surface as support and that small surface as support and let's go to coupling that should be ratio yes and i want to bring back that split six because i want to use those as guides so go for guide this would be one guide and that would be the second guide let's make a preview yeah looks okay and confirm and now i could hide that small one here great next i need an arc here tangent to this one so maybe hide those surfaces uh, i've got hide all geometrical sets now that i should have one for surfaces here as well i should check if that's possible so maybe i just this one okay now in order to get that arc here in the xy plane i want to use lines let's go for a line point point tangent to curve yes the curve would be this one and the second element would be nothing because it's monotangent. So that would be the point. Okay. And then let's go for, let's say 100, for example, like this, confirm. And then one, and of course the support should be in the XY plane. Let's see if we can select it. Yes, that's better. Now I want to go for a line here. Or could I do my arc already here? Because there would be the possibility to do a corner or I could go for a circle but circle to get a tangent here is kind of difficult because I need another point so I want to go for another line which should be not tangent but maybe normal to a curve let's close that and the curve would be this one support would be again that plane and the point would be this one here and i want it to be 90 degrees but in the other direction like this and let's go for 100 again yeah and i could make a corner so go for that corner command that would be the first one that would be the second one and the support would be of course this one and the radius should be 100 yeah it looks okay let's hide this one and that one now i need a circle here so where's my circle there you go center and radius yes center would be this point here and of course you could go for an end point which would be correct and support should be a plane normal so create a plane and that would be normal to curve yes curve would be this one and i want to go for again an end point 
and confirm like this and OK. And of course you should go for let's say radius 30 or 35 and I want to have a complete circle. Maybe like that. Then bring back that join in this one. And I need to break that circle. So I want to do it with points. So where are my points? Okay, a point should be a point on a curve. Let's select that circle here and see where it puts the reference point. Yeah, here that's no good. I need a point right there. So can I go to extremum in y direction? So the direction would be the y direction. No, not the y direction, sorry, it's the x direction. And I want to have not the max, but the minimum. And OK. And from this point, I want to go maybe distance on curve, ratio of curve length, no. Length, let's go for. I went for t uh, 6, 6, 12, so let's go for 9 in this direction. And I need another point to the other side. So the curve would be this one. And there should be that extreme point here, so I should get this extreme point as reference, reverse the direction and go again for 9 millimeter length like that. Of course you can do this with a sketch as well. Now let's take a look if that's on the right side, yes, and I need to split that circle here with this point and that point. Just ignore those and keep both sides and confirm, which gives me that small arc and this arc here. And now I can go for a multi-section surface. Let's select this edge here and I support that surface here. Then select that small arc here. So let's see that direction is okay, yes. And I could go for a tangency normal to a plane. I don't know if that's any good. I could use that one plane which I used for that point here, this direction. And I can try to use a spine. Let's see if it works. Might work, might not. Let's see. Go for a preview. Yes, it does. So let's confirm this. And of course the coupling is ratio. Okay, now for some more or one more multi-section surface. Don't know why this was 
selected. So it should go from this one here with that surface as support to this one here. Let's check those directions seem to be okay. And I want to use those two as guides and maybe this one as spine. Let's see. So go for a guide, this one and that one. Let's make a preview. Looks okay. Let's see if we can add that spine. Yes, and let's see if we can add the normal direction to that plane here. Yeah, and confirm. Quite nice. And I'm done. So hope it was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook app fan page. It would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.